According to a systematic literature review, conducted at the University of Exeter, ketamine, a medication commonly used for the induction and maintenance of anesthesia, seems to offer relief to patients suffering from depression or suicidal thinking. Although details regarding the optimal dose and route of administration are yet to emerge, scientists believe that this could pave the way towards finding a reliable treatment for countering depression and suicidal thoughts. If someone you know is currently undergoing immunotherapy for skin cancer, make sure you ask him or her to opt for a diet that is rich in fiber. Why? Well, biomedical research conducted at the National Cancer Institute and published in the reputed journal Science clearly demonstrates that people being treated for melanoma or skin cancer may respond well to immunotherapy treatment if they eat foods that are rich in fiber. Now that's certainly encouraging, isn't it? Click on the link in the description below to learn more. Do you enjoy eating red meat? Then there's some bad news for you. According to a scientific study published in the reputed journal Nature Microbiology, consuming red meat can eventually lead to heart disease and also cause stroke. The culprit is actually a byproduct that forms when gut bacteria digest certain nutrients abundant in red meat and other animal products. This toxic byproduct called TMAO, or trimethylamine N oxide, is generated from the L carnitine that is abundantly present in red meat. It increases your overall risk of developing heart disease and getting a stroke. This study alone should motivate millions of meat lovers to switch to a purely vegetarian diet. The 15th report on carcinogens, prepared by the National Toxicology Program for the U.S. Department of Health and Human Service, has identified eight new carcinogens, entities that can cause cancer in humans. The eight new entries include the bacterium Helicobacter pylori, or H. pylori, the flame retardant, antimony trioxide, and six haloacetic acids that present themselves as byproducts after the chlorine-based disinfection of water. Click on the link in the description below for more on this topic. According to a report published in the reputed journal Nature, active COVID-19 infection has been reliably detected in white-tailed deer at six different locations in the U.S. state of Ohio. The COVID-19 detection has been validated by the growth of viral isolates inside a research laboratory. Although there is no reason to panic, experts believe that this could complicate future mitigation and control plans for COVID-19. Magnesium is a commonly occurring element. Hundreds of enzymes need it to function smoothly. Various foods, such as pumpkin seeds, are rich sources of magnesium. A group of researchers has recently been successful in generating a radioactive isotope of magnesium called magnesium-18. By accelerating the naturally occurring magnesium-24 to nearly half the speed of light inside a cyclotron and subsequently colliding it with a beryllium foil, the research team generated the precursor or magnesium-20. After undergoing a similar acceleration and collision, this magnesium isotope gave birth to magnesium-18, a radioactive isotope that vanishes in about one sextillionth of a second. The whole point of generating this unstable isotope is to help scientists better understand the atoms that define our existence. Researchers from Japan have been able to find a connection between music and brain development, especially language processing. According to a recently published report, Japanese researchers used magnetic resonance imaging to study the brains of secondary school students focusing on a music-related task. What they found was mind-boggling. Students who play music from an early age exhibit certain kinds of brain activity more strongly than others. The brain researchers also noticed an interesting link between musical processing and language processing. So if your kid is playing music, it's also going to boost his or her language processing skills as a wonderful side effect. Subscribe to Videonium for more such research updates that matter.